let's take a look at some stuff from the Kennedy Center Awards to finish up class. Um, 2010, they honored Paul McCartney, Oprah Winfrey, a bunch of other people. Um, the Obamas hosted it. Thank God it was the Obamas and not George Bush because at least Obama knew where the right beats were and snapped along with the music. I'm not sure George Bush would have been able to do that. And there's two parts that go to this, two, two parts of the video. Have you seen this? I find that most people have not seen this. The first part is about Paul McCartney, and the second part is some live performances. So sit back for about 10, 12 minutes, and this is how we'll be finishing up class today. He's alive. A big time solo career wasn't just handed to him like some lucky America's Got Talent contestants. He had to earn it. All those early years slogging through groups like the Quarrymen, Johnny and the Moon Dogs, the Silver Beatles, and finally the plain old Beatles. I can't begin to tell you how awful those early years were. With the Beatles, Paul was forced out of the friendly intimacy of clubs and made to perform in ever larger spaces. No, no, wait. You have to see this to believe it. Places normally reserved for baseball games, bullfights, papal masses. <laughs> And then things turned really, really bad. The Beatles were assaulted by throngs of hostile young female gang members. <laughs> the police had to be called in to protect them. The National Institutes of Health called the epidemic Beatlemania. There was no cure. <laughs> Finally, Beatles were reduced to performing on the Ed Sullivan Show, sharing the stage with a mouse named Topo Gigi. <laughs> but let's move on. Paul McCartney is a genius. Yeah. Paul married rock and roll to beauty and forever raised the bar for composers musicians, and fans. Paul, we honor you tonight for your career as a Beatle, the leader of Wings, an incredible solo performer, the creator of our favorite songs, and yes, as a moon dog too. Breaks my heart Rock since I play trumpet. And Paul knew every song. A boy named Leonard was playing at a church fair. Paul sang his way right into his band.
the entire world was singing at the same time. Every album was richer than the one before. It was the great musical adventure of the 20th century. Thank you.